Howdy, and welcome to Book Your Give Here. We're travel that gives. I'm Lulu Lima, your chief travel guru. I hope this episode of Dream Now, Travel Later inspires you to travel, and I invite you to give us the opportunity to help plan your next memorable trip. So grab your popcorn and enjoy. Thursday of adventure. So today I have Alejandra Guzman from Trip Media, who is going to talk to us about her secrets of Colombia. So I know that a lot of us always love all of the different things that come from the South American uh, continent. And so I think that Colombia is a great opportunity for us to get a little bit of spice of life. So with that, I am uh, giving you over to Alejandra so that she can introduce herself and we can uh, go on to her amazing presentation. Hello. Thank you, Lulu, for the invitation. For that space for me and for my country. I'm Alejandra Tavera. I'm Colombian and I have a travel agency named Trip Media that connects the people with the local, the, the travelers with the local people for discover the best things of Colombia. So I, this, during this time, I want to talk about a lot of things that I really enjoy to show the people in Colombia for travel and for planning a great trip for all of that. Awesome. So, um, so with that, we're gonna um, start your presentation because I'm so excited about getting into Colombia. And of course, you know, this is all about booking uh, later, but you know, we are dreaming now. So yeah. talk to us about the product of Colombia. Obviously co coffee is a big deal here, right? So. Uh, well, Colombia has a lot of things to offer because we um, have a lot of biodiversity. So we have a lot of products as coffee, as fruits, a lot of gastronomy, a lot of culture, a lot of things that you can enjoy when you come here. I always say that Colombia is like, a, every city of Colombia is like a different cities or different type of countries because every city has a lot of things to offer. So we have to do only, the only thing that you can do is planning or thinking what do you want to do or what do you want to show or find there and you can find surely which which is awesome so let's talk a little bit about there's so many different areas right so you've got some cosmopolitan cities you've got rural you've got uh natural scenes charming town and lots of turquoise sea so you've got a lot of everything um in in a lot of these you know amazing areas so yeah. Um, so, so really, it's it is a, an opportunity, a paradise for just almost everybody, um, and so we're you know we're able to do a lot of combinations. So you don't have to just stay in one area. Um, we can start you off in Cartagena um, or in Bogota and kind of you know make your way around um, you know different things and maybe end up in Cali and 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 then you know you're you're back home but again you're you you have so many opportunities definitely a trip that i would say would be anywhere from 10 to 14 days at minimum just so that you could have a really great um, hands on uh, into all of the different places yeah when the people plan into go to Colombia, I always recommend that time, uh, 15 days, 15, 20 days, because you can travel all around the cities or the main cities in Colombia, and you can find a lot of different experience. You can go to the jungle, you can go to the beach, you can go to the cities, you can enjoy the country, you can enjoy a different type of things. In Colombia, yeah. for example, we don't have seasons, uh, so we have different type of weather in every city. So you can live this day each season in each city. So you can travel to the autumn, from the spring, from the summer, and it's really, really nice because you can find different type of experience in that cities when you come there. And you only have to do all of it in 20 days. 
Uh, and that's often. And so there's a lot of unconventional ways to really enjoy the country. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Um, and obviously, you know, being on uh, on the water is certainly one of them. Um, and of course, the whole concept of your company is really to have that cultural immersion. So when I make itineraries with Alejandra, keep in mind that my uh, everything that I'm doing with you guys is really an opportunity to have uh, those local folks guide your way. Yeah, the the heart of the of the company or the heart of the of our job is connect the people, the local people, with the travelers. You know, because yeah. for me, the gem from Colombia, the the speciality is the people, the warm people, the local people have a lot of things to them to offer to the people. So for for me, the unconventional ways to enjoy Colombia is sharing with people, doing a lot of things with them, live with them, enjoy the experience, the local experience of the things that in Colombia is so common, but, but the people that come here is really strange. For yeah, example. well, exactly. It's, I mean, it's all about really learning all, all of the moving pieces. So, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 really nice because you can when you when you live with the people you can transform your life or you can transform the way that you do your life because you say like okay I'm here uh, in this country the people that maybe doesn't have a lot of things to to ask me a lot of comfortable things but it's so happy, it's so friendly, have a lot of love to give us, so for us it's really nice. Yeah, uh, ab absolutely. So, so we can move into um, our next slide and really kind of talk about some great opportunities in Bogota. You've got great nightlife, gastronomy, um, and some art and graffiti tours. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about those art and graffiti tours? Because that's really something that's very unique. Yeah. Well, Bogota is, a, is the main city of, of our country. It's the capital city and have a lot of things to offer because it's the only city in Colombia that reunites everything, you know? You can yeah. find anything of every part of the country, so it's really nice. The nightlife is awesome because you can find a lot of things to do. Uh, not only party, you can find theater, shows, music, a lot in life, you have that, a lot of options. So for us, it's important to know to the client and say, well, what do you like to do? You can do the things that we usually do or the things that you can enjoy in the Colombian way, you know? Of course. And, and in graffiti tours and art tours are really interesting because in Colombia, eh, in Bogota especially, they, we have a lot of streets, a lot of neighborhoods that the local people uh, doing artistic graffitis in the streets and you can find a lot of things to do, to watch, so it's a really nice to do a great um, a tour when you go to the museums, go to the galleries and see the local art in the streets, so it's a great combination for the people that come to Bogota. Absolutely. And of course, Colombians are known for, you know, their dancing and uh, and obviously lots of love and flavor. And in Cali, there's a lot of dance dancing involved. Yeah. So, um, it's the capital, this, the capital of salsa in the world. So you can, you can miss the opportunity to learn with the people from Cali to dance in salsa or dance in another type of rhymes and do a lot of cultural tours uh, related to, with music. When we work in Cali, we enjoy to connect the music and dancing with the culture because it's really, really, really important in the city. So it's, for me, it's, it's a thing that the people can, can miss. That's awesome. And so now we go into Cartagena and Cartagena, I know not only does it have some great um, opportunities for for the sea, but it also has some history and arts and, and it's very, um, it still has a very colonial kind of feel. 
Ya. Cartagena, the, the historical center of Cartagena, you can see that picture full of colors. Yeah. Uh, a lot of streets full of colors, the houses. It's a colonial part of Cartagena and it's surrounded by the walls. The real walls that um, the, the conquerors and the fighting, all the things, historical things that stay there. Uh, you can visit there, but in Cartagena you can find a lot of things with art and craft tours, for example. You can do handcrafts and find a lot of things with the local people there. Know more about the history of Cartagena that is important because Cartagena was a port for slaves. The, the most part of the slaves comes to uh, South America for Cartagena. So ah. have a lot of great opportunity to know about more about this kind of history, for example. So Cartagena have a lot of things to offer. The nightlife in Cartagena is really nice too. Have a lot of great restaurants in the historical center. Have a lot of things to shop in. It's a really nice plan to go to Cartagena, especially with a couple or, for example, in a group of friends. It's a really, really, really great place to go there. That's awesome. And in uh, Medellin, um, you know, you have so many things. Obviously, it's an urban city. Um, but I also know that a lot of the bachelor and bachelorette parties love to go there. Yeah. In so Medellin have a lot of things to offer. And Medellin is well known that like the city of the eternal spring. So the weather there is really nice. And you can find mountains, you can find uh, nature, you can find urbanism, you can find a lot of things to do, you know? So, for example, for the, the people that plan a bachelor party, for example, the guys have a lot of things to do, like um, related with football, for example, with tours, cultural tours, um, handcraft beers tours, for example, uh, room tasting, uh, a lot of things that the, the guys enjoy to do. And for the girls, for example, the shopping tours in nine independent uh, stores from um, a lot of things like spas, um, things related with beauty also is really nice. And of course, the gastronomy and the nightlife is really known as well in Medellin. So, the people enjoy a lot of experience, you know, in one big city too. That's awesome. So now we um, we move over a little bit to um, some of the outer areas where you have Santa Marta and um, where you have a lot of sun and beach. Um, and so let's talk about these two places. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I want to say to the people that the Bogotá and Medellín are in the center of our country, you know? It's mm -hmm. not surrounded by sea. But in a one hour flight, you have Santa Marta, for example. And for, so uh, Santa Marta is a little town uh, in the sea, but have all surrounded for all kind of towns close to the sea and you can find a lot of biodiversity you have the the lost city that i i know i don't know if you if you hear about that lost mm -hmm. city is a great place it's in the mountains and it's a sacred place from the indigenous from colombia so it's a oh. really true it's a really great plan from the trekking for example if, you, if anybody wants to trek in about his with history with archive, um, the archaeology and archaeological yeah. things is a great option too. And in, and close to Santa Marta, you can you can surf, you can do a lot of uh, sea activities, and you have sun and beach, sun and beach. You have wonderful hotels there to relax, to stay, uh, stay there in the sea, chilling and that's enjoy awesome. a lot of towns that are close from there. Ah, that's awesome. Santa Marta, close to Santa Marta, you have a mountain 
sweet ice. Uh, it's la Sierra Nevada. It's like a it's like a mountain with ice in the middle or close to the sea. So it's wonderful. That that's an awesome change. So you really have an opportunity to to, to see some uh, some winter, so to speak, right next to the sea where it's nice and warm. Yeah, and Santa Marta is only you have uh, by car is only two hours from Cartagena. So connect perfectly for Cartagena, for example, you can travel to Bogota, then Medellin, Cartagena, and Santa Marta is a great circuit that you can do, for example. Yeah, and you also and you also list an opportunity here in another destination where there's wellness experiences in nature. Yeah, Bucaramanga is a great place for 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 do that kind of experience. For example, when you go to Santa Marta, when you go to Bucaramanga, for example, you have a big mountain, have the canyons, have a great canyon. It's not like the Grand Canyon of the United States, but it's really awesome too. And you have to do, and you can do a lot of great wellness experience in the nature because you have thermal bath, you have a lot of spas, you have living towns with a lovely architecture, with restaurants, with a lot of things to offer. And one town close to Bucaramanga that is not there but is named San Gil, you can um, do a lot of extreme sports like canyoning, kayak, uh, rafting, a lot of things like this. That's that's awesome. So lots of different opportunities, and then of course there's also um, areas where we can go into charming little towns. You know, you can experience the the old style village. Yeah. And so and 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 really again work with lots of the um, the local folks on the arts and crafts piece of things. Yeah. When you when you name the the little towns, uh, we can go to Villa de Leyva and Barichara as well as two different towns but it's really archi uh, colonial architecture you can interact with the local people you can know about the history and have that romantic atmosphere that is really nice from the people as well uh, Colombia is well known like a wedding destination also so yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's made family, so absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so not only destination weddings, but even family reunions or vow renewals or anything along those lines um, can definitely be done um, in yeah. all parts of Colombia. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and for example, these two, these two little towns are great because have a really romantic atmosphere, really nice churches, you have a small town, you can find everything, you have a good hotels to offer the opportunity to, to do a good party with a lot of food, a lot of things to do. So it's a great uh, wedding destination also these two towns. And you you can the different type of experience with local people. Uh, with the guests from the wedding, for example, that is a thing that usually do when the people came here to Colombia, especially in the in the weddings, in the uh, cultural weddings, for example, a Colombian people with a you know American uh, fiance or something. Yep, absolutely. And so now we go back to kind of you know that coffee um, opportunity where. Um, not only do you have the thermal treatments that we were talking about earlier, but you also get an opportunity to harvest. Yeah. When you go to the coffee axis, the coffee axis is a great zone because it's well known from Colombia, it's well known from the, for the coffee, but you can go to the farms, you can pick the coffee with the people, you can learn about the process of the coffee from the seed to the cup. You know? And yeah, really uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really interesting for me. It's one of the best things to do because you can value more the cup that, of coffee that you drink. 
when you when you know all the whole process is really nice. Ab absolutely, and so and and coffee is a delicacy no matter where in the world you go. So it's nice to be able to really experience um, the local flavor of it and how to harvest it, and and again how the community manages it. So that's super awesome. Yeah, and the experience in the coffee axis is really nice because the the coffee the coffee plants are in a mountain. So you see the people, the farmers pick the coffee in that kind of altitude, you know? Yeah. It's really hard to pick the coffee there. And it's so interesting to go there and have the same experience that the people have been there. Uh, abs absolutely. And so um, you also have a lot of ancestral traditional um, areas where you know you really can get down to for those people especially are looking for some genealogy or um, you know looking back to how the old country was. You still have a lot of villages that are, are um, that give you that opportunity. Yeah, the two songs that I, are named here are not well known. It's like uh, undiscovered because all the all the places, the main places are named already. But these two songs are really nice because you can interact with the local people, the indigenous or black people that they our country, and you can find the local communities that are really enjoying to um, receive the tourists there. Yeah, so, that's, that's awesome. And you don't have over tourism in these areas because they're not well known. So this is really great off the beaten path um, experiences that you're, and you're not going to find these on the internet, right? So these are things that um, I will work directly with Alejandra and her team to make sure that they're part of your itinerary. So again, yeah. having something a little different that nobody else has is really great. Yeah, for example, I want to talk to you about this destinations because we have a unique roots there. For example, in Choco, um, when we talk about ancestral tradition tours, we have a great tour with the women from the that song. The women are well known because have a lot of ancient traditional cookers, cooking. So it's a great experience because you wake up early in the morning, go with his husband with a fish, the, uh, uh, yeah, take the fish there and you can cook that great fish from the lunch with the women. So you have music, you have traditional cooking, you have a lot of great experience there. And always learn the ancestral tradition from that people. And in Guaviare, for example, is a song that is close to the, Ama the Amazon song. It's between the Amazon song in the south part of the city, uh, the country, pardon, and the flats, the flat flats. So have a great, great um, biodiversity, and you can share there with the indigenous. You can see uh, the mural painting for ancient years, so you can do a lot of things to do there. And you can do handcrafts with there, you can uh, participate in his rituals, you can do a lot of things with the local people, and the real local people. You always stay with, a, with a, one of our guides that translate everything, but also the whole experience is with the local people. And that's, these people that's is, awesome. Yeah, and these people, all, all kind of the programs that we have, for example, for with that women's, um, is also a uh, teach how to say hello or say little words in English for receive the tourists or things <laughs> that she that that want women improve their services. For example, it's not only cooking like this; it's put the the dishes really nice receive the people very well so all that kind of programs help to improve the the, the development of these communities also that, that's awesome that's so that it's sustainable travel it's awesome it, give, it gives them an opportunity to be independent as well so a really great so yeah. um so you know thank you for showing us so much of colombia i mean in in such a short time but 
obviously this is, um, there's so much beautiful pieces here. Um, and I think that Columbia's West should always be an awesome plan um, yeah. to, you know, to basically start the, start the next chapter, no? <laughs> okay. Yeah, for me, it's Columbia like, is, is I, like you said, it's always is an uh, awesome plan to, to do. You have a lot of things to, to do there. You can many you can have many options, and especially the thing is that you never come back to your house and be the same person. Of course not. I mean that. Well, that's what travel does. Travel travel really does enhances you and makes you um, a, a better person overall. So that's one of the reasons why I, I love I, I love it because it, it really does open up a lot of personal doors um so that you, you can really get to know yourself so super awesome um is there anything else that you wanted to add to um to everybody who was watching um i don't know maybe maybe i don't know if you have any question about it um right now i nobody has asked any questions but it doesn't mean the questions won't come because i'm sure there's lots of people that are going to be asking questions afterwards sure. um but certainly, I mean, again, guys, this is a great opportunity. We can start planning, um, building your itineraries, you know, uh, for the end of the year um, or for 2021. Um, the con when is the country scheduled to be open? Do you have a, an idea? Well, I'm not sure, but the government uh, plan is open uh, from September. Okay. So, so if you want to maybe spend the holidays, um, yeah. In Colombia, that would be a great opportunity for you. Um, the exchange rate there is quite favorable to the American dollar, so yeah. um, so, so you certainly are going to have a great value um, in this country. So um, yeah, so certainly we can take a look at you know planning from the holidays on, so November, December, um, yeah. and into 2025. And for me, for me, one of the best seasons to go to Colombia is from. It's from September to December, and December is really, really fun in Colombia because it's a really it's always celebration. Everybody's dancing, everybody's so happy in December. I have a lot of life, have a lot of things different to the United States, and the, the people is so warm. So it's a great opportunity to avoid the winter. In Colombia. Yes. Exactly. Avoid the winter for those people who are in, in the Northeast. Of, yeah. uh, um, and and so, yeah, and even so, even some of us here now in, in Texas and in, and, uh, in other parts of the, the world, the, the country, we yeah. do, it does get kind of cold. So, you know, we, we certainly do miss that warm weather. So great opportunities. Alejandro, thank you so much for joining. I thank really you. appreciate it. This was an amazing, inspirational piece. Thank you to you for this invitation. I'm so glad to stay here with you. And I hope that we can enjoy together Colombia. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Until the next time, everybody. Namaste.